people sometimes have asked me, you know, what was, why did I, why do I paint these tree creatures? Um, and sometimes they ask me, you know, why, what was the, you know, what was the first tree creature I ever painted? Well, about 20 years ago, I, uh, I was actually feeling kind of down, kind of depressed one time. I was painting a photo of a face. I've always liked drawing and painting faces. I've also enjoyed landscapes and trees and things like that. But this one time I was painting this this face and I was just feeling kind of frustrated with life and uh, the face had a hand up to it, kind of like this. And I just, I just got this feeling that I wanted to extend the fingers right down to the bottom of the, uh, of the picture. And I did. I just extended them down. And they look kind of like tree branches, uh, roots actually, look like roots. And I decided to turn the whole thing into a tree. And I'd never painted a tree with a face before. That was the first time I ever did that. And I worked on that picture for, for weeks. And uh, I added glazes, dropping it into shadow. And <laughs> it actually started out as a ballpoint pen drawing. I added watercolor and then glazes of oil paint and until I gradually captured the kind of the dark forest look that I that I wanted to capture there. <clears throat> and I, I, I've had people, you know, tell me that's one of their favorite pictures that I've painted. tree features, they're trying to figure life out, which is really, they're a lot of self-portraits of me, they're like me trying to figure life out. It's a challenge, it really is. Sometimes I feel very much like these tree creatures. I mean, I can physically get up and walk around, but I sometimes feel like I'm just stuck to my chair, and I, I can hardly function, and I really don't like being that way. I am drawn to faces with emotion, and especially the eyes. I try to capture the, the life and the, the heart and the soul and life of that creature, that tree creature in his eyes. And I think sometimes people, they almost can relate to them more being tree creatures than if they were just a straight human being. Because uh, we all have, I think we want to be something more than just, just a regular old person. I've had people tell me that they're not creative, that they, they can't imagine how do I come up with these bizarre, strange images and colors that I come up with. But I honestly think all of us inside of us have lots of creative imagery that we'd like to put down on paper and paint. And it's worth developing those skills so that you can put that image down on paper and make something that expresses who you are. And it's quite rewarding. It, it uh, kind of helps you figure life out. Putting down in words and images those feelings and expressions of you. And I've enjoyed doing that, and 
and it's fun, and I'll, I'll continue to do that.